Almost 90% of the practicing vets in the UK work within a practice, but what about the other 10%? We sent our special correspondent, Nick Wallace, to see the variety of exciting and rewarding opportunities that are available to those with a veterinary degree. Take a look at this. Training to be a vet doesn't necessarily mean a career in clinical practice. In fact, as Vet Futures has recently highlighted, a veterinary degree can be a passport to a whole world of career opportunities. Hannah Jordan works for the British Veterinary Association. It's a job which gives her a unique perspective on the roles vets can play in society. As policy officer, I have to work with vets in clinical practice, vets working in trade with other countries, vets working in government or nitty gritty of legislation, uh, vets working in policy like me, trying to work out how to sort of knowledge broker between the two, um, and also non-vets working in the veterinary profession as well and trying to share information with them and how that works. And it gives you a real perspective on the different, um, the different outlooks out there. What vets in clinical practice think might not be what vets in academia think. And there may be some sort of uh, brokering to do between the two groups to come to a mutually agreed position. So there are vets out there doing a whole wealth of things. Take a look at the food industry, for example. Charlotte Maddox switched from general practice. After taking a master's in aquatic animal health, she landed a job at Tesco. We have a team that look after responsible sourcing and uh, working within that team to really drive improvement uh, in the marine environment on a global scale, a global supply chain, is, um, is really incredible to be a part of. It opens up doors for you, you know, you can work across different sectors. So for example with me, I started just in fish, um, which I'm still doing, but I'm also now broadening and looking at R&D for the whole sector. Um, and it really is a value, and the company really values having a person with veterinary expertise. Veterinary input is essential when it comes to introducing new legislation. Anthony Ridge is a vet working at the House of Lords. Initially when I was considering you know, what course should I do at university, I, you know, I was looking at uh, the option of either doing a sciences degree or doing a, a veterinary degree. To me, a veterinary degree is a very practical um, applied sciences degree where I could leave it, I could certainly see it, uh, you know, the option of a clinical profession, uh, but I was very keen on applying the, that same knowledge a bit more broadly uh, to look at animal welfare in general and the way humans and animal societies um, interact. Some vets return to academia. Anna Mateus found that she wanted a change after clinical practice, so she left Portugal looking for new challenges. When I first moved to the UK, um, I worked in food safety and then I went into academia to continue my postgraduate studies. I get to interact with policy makers, I get to interact also f with clinicians and colleagues in other countries through our research consortiums. And I think that for me is what I love about my work. Try and see what is that you really love to do because it's something that you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. And don't be afraid of changing career paths like I did. More than half undergraduate veterinary students aspire to work in more than one area of their profession. My expectation of my career is that I'm going to do something different all the time, sort of keep changing, chopping and changing. I'm quite interested in academia and research, but also public health. Um, still sort of interested in so many different areas that I can't pin it down to one thing that I'm going to do forever. So I think that's, that's the joy of our profession really is that you can just do a whole range of things. For many vets, a career in clinical practice is hugely rewarding. Do you know, I think I'd do it all again. Uh, I, I really would. I woke up this morning, I was on call last night and the phone went at 10 past five and I sort of cursed and muttered and got out of bed and I, I, it was a call to a cow that had got a uterine torsion and I drove to the farm and 40 minutes later I corrected it, the calf had been delivered and that reminded me why I really enjoy the job and, and yes, I would do it all again. What I would tell veterinary students about the opportunities that are open to them uh, outside of clinical practice is that there are, they are numerous and you have to hunt for them. They're not a standard opportunity, so you'd go into practice and you'd have a standard clinical practice small animal job. With the policy work and with other work uh, that you can do with a veterinary degree, you have to go out and hunt for it and you have to make your own opportunities. Mm -hmm.